What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with a few bits of news coming from yesterday which I didn't cover due to wanting to do a little more research on said slices of info. Uh, but first up let's talk about the recent announcement from Bungie on the Bungie phone post requirements. Yes, you are required to do a set number of things before you can post here. Here is what they said. Hello all, starting tomorrow, 7th February, on Bungie.net, phones will be updated with new post requirements. These changes are planned between 10am and 12pm PST. Destiny 2, feedback, gaming and off topic, players must have reached the farm in Destiny 2. Destiny clans, recruitment and community must have a Destiny account and help, no game requirements necessary. As always, private groups are open to all for whatever experience you want to share with your friends, so long as it not violate our code of conduct. We are open to all feedback concerning Destiny and Destiny 2, but players who wish to contribute to the conversation will be required to have spent time in the game. Players who do not meet specific requirements will not be able to post or interact with threads on the forums in question. If threads are posted in the wrong forums in an attempt to circumvent these requirements, accounts will be subject to moderation by Bungie.net ninjas. From the code of conduct, Bungie reserves the right to moderate this website and everything on it. You are here to contribute to the conversation, not to derail it. Any attempts to interfere with the discussion here will be removed. These guidelines require your best judgement, so please play nice. If you're not sure if the stuff you are about to share is appropriate for Bungie.net, don't post it. That will help you stay clear of the Banhammer's blast radius. Cheers. Now before I give my opinion on this, let me just tell you, the Bungie phones in my opinion are worse than Reddit. For people who just seem to be super bitter about everything Bungie does. Yes for sure, a lot of the negative posts in regards to Bungie are constructive, but a lot of the posts I've been seeing are just straight up spam. And it's for this very reason I normally stay clear. But I do know this is a place many people go and make their voices heard, which is cool. What Bungie have done here is make it so you actually have to purchase the game before you can post here. You have to reach the farm. Now to do this, you obviously have to own the game. Now I have witnessed many videos all slating Bungie for choosing to do this. My question is, why? I mean the Bungie forums are basically in place for players to leave feedback on the game. Why would you want to leave feedback on a game you don't play or own? So to be honest, it kind of makes sense as to Bungie locking at people from spamming the forums who don't actually own the game. This makes sense to me. Let's face it, I'm pretty sure everyone who posts within these forums who isn't a spam bot has purchased the game and at least made it to the farm. If you haven't, in all honesty, your opinion and feedback on the game isn't worth reading. Now I have seen many people say that this is a move by Bungie to try and make some extra dosh. I actually disagree. Why on earth would anyone with a single brain cell purchase a game just to make a single post about it? It doesn't make sense to me people. And you guys know for sure I ain't no Bungie ass kisser. I've called them out numerous times. I'm 100% blacklisted from being invited to any future events. I don't care. I will always state the truth for your guys sakes. But honestly, here yeah, I think I'm missing something. I've also seen people state that this is a move by Bungie to stop people looking to buy the game from reading all these negative posts, thinking such would have an effect on their choice of buying. Well, let me clear that up. You can still read every single post here. You just can't post in the forums until you reach the farm in Destiny 2. So this call by people trying to make it out that Bungie are trying to hide the negativity surrounding the game doesn't add up. So unless I'm missing something people and correct me if I'm wrong, I would welcome it, leave a comment down below. I don't see an issue with this whatsoever. Okay, so let's move on. And did you guys see this? The Taken Queen DLC poster for Destiny 2. When I first saw this, I actually screamed with laughter. Not because of the actual poster, but because of its name. Even Bungie wouldn't reskin a name for a DLC. Or would they? Actually come to think about it, they probably would. Now a lot of speculation has been made surrounding this poster. It does indeed look legit and someone has made the effort to even printing it out and sticking it on their wall before sharing the picture on the interwebs. Now there is one thing you need to see which 100% proves this is fake and I need to take it no further. Check out this concept image made by Travis Davids over on ArtStation which I will link within the video description and I gotta say this is some epic looking shit, I'm not even gonna lie, it's amazing. This concept image titled The Wisp of Ash, this is the exact same helmet we see blended into this poster in that background, look closely. 
So unless Bungie are taking content creators work and applying it to their future DLC posters, I'm pretty sure we can confirm that this is 100% fake. Great work though on whoever made it, it had many people fooled, but not me. Okay, so moving on. Yesterday was Activision's investor call, where they speak of earnings and so forth, and even sometimes talk about future plans for certain games. Well, we got some quite obvious news out of this investor call regarding Destiny 2. Basically, Bungie first talked about how the game was well received upon launch, but a few months down the line, when players had put hundreds of hours into the game, things started to dry up. They then talk about a May DLC, which we all know about, and then they mention a major expansion coming at the end of the year. Now the audio clip I will link within the video description if you do want to check it out. It's only a few minutes long, so it's definitely worth your time. But yeah, we know of this DLC in May. This is the one will give us that red layer part two, and we know a few other bits and bobs about it. But the fall expansion should offer so much more. Yes, the end of the year is a long way away though, but if they are already working on it, expect it to be gigantic. Well, let's hope so anyway. But for me, as exciting as this news should be, it really isn't. And this comes from having a feeling of no love for the game at the moment, and that's because of its current state. With the changes coming though, and the transparency Bungie are offering going forward with what's going on, things are definitely picking up. But until things have picked up, I can't really say I'm excited about anything going forward. I also know for one thing, it's going to be real hard work winning back a lot of the community, but it seems as though Bungie are quite confident the Fall expansion might just do that. Let's just hope it isn't called the Taken Queen. On that note guys, I am out. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.